Hello. Now today we're just going to deal with the swirl pot because uh, it's quite an important part of the car really. And um, I had these made for me in England. They were designed originally by Colin Chapman. And they're a fantastic arrangement really because you put them in the cooling system and they go between the engine and the radiator. Now the, the idea is that you put, water goes in at the top here, tie it tangentially to the center of the thing, and then it swirls round and goes out at the bottom and to the radiator. Now the point is that as the water goes round, it forms a vortex in the, in the tank there, and the top part is, is always got air in it. So that the air then comes, if there's any air that come out, it comes out of this little tube at the side here. And, um, so you never lose any water. Now I did a, I did a four hour motor race at the um, Nürburgring in 1963 and we never lost a drop of water with one of these in the car. It's absolutely amazing really. And people don't seem to understand really why it works, but it does. And um, this one is made, it's got a, this is, the, this is normal, normal filler cap, um, which is a standard arrangement. And this one's about a 10 pound uh, pressure. Uh, yeah. And um, so it's a standard arrangement for the water filler and the tap, and the, sorry, and the, and the cap. And so um, that's how it works really. And at the, the bottom here, we made a, 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 uh, a plug in here for a, a temperature gauge, which works on a capillary tube or a Borden tube as they call it, um, so you can put the temperature in the water as well. Um, and then it's got little flanges at the bottom so you can bolt it to something. Uh, so that's how it works and, and it's a very useful and important part of a motor car really. I don't know why more people don't fit them. So that's, uh, that's your, your swirl pot. Thank you very much.